الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا وسندنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله تبارك وتعالى عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني فقولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني فقولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني فقولي سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب زدني علما وارزقني فهما my dear brothers and sisters young and old assalamu alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh MashaAllah Welcome back uh, to our live health show coming to you from our studios here in Bradford in the heart of Bradford on Manchester Road Al Khair Studios and Ikra TV MashaAllah where we have our dedicated staff the likes of Adil the Oxford Don MashaAllah Mawana Asad Sahib Alhamdulillah and the one and only legendary Muhammad Bai who work behind the scenes in making sure that these broadcasts are successful, succinct, bombastic and electrifying, mashaAllah. Allah bless them and accept their hard work, mashaAllah. My friends, we are here on a mission and the mission is to improve our health and to inform you of you know, uh, well, tell you about things which are con of a concern to your health. Last week, we mentioned to you a uh, sweetener, which was so, so dangerous. In fact, it was lethal. It could cause septicemia. It would increase your uh, insulin resistance, X, Y, Z. Uh, Neotame, it was known as. We brought that to your attention. We explained how dangerous it was and what it would do to your health. Uh, number one, number two, the week prior to that, or two weeks prior to that, we mentioned to you the, uh, you know, you know, absolute mind-boggling increase in uh, nanoparticles of plastic in your uh, plastic water bottles. We mentioned that prior to this research, the assumption was that there's only 11 or 12 pieces of microplastic particles in a litre of water. This research said that there's 240,000 pieces of nanoparticles and if you drink water with frequency then in one week it's like you've kind of, uh, you know, swallowed a equivalent of a credit card. A plastic credit card, that's how much, you know, uh, plastic you consume. And then it comes as should come as no surprise that the you know infertility rates of adults are kind of plummeting drastically and the researchers say that if this trajectory continues to fall in this manner then come 2036 no human beings will be able to reproduce biologically let that sink into your minds and let it marinate and understand the consequences that by the year 2000 36, no human being will be able to procreate biologically. They'll have to use IVF, etc. That's how dangerous these plastics are. They are found in every cell in your body. They're found in the, you know, fetuses inside the mother's womb. They have become, like now, they become part of each cell, like you have the, you know, mitochondria, the neoplasm, etc. in a cell, the nucleus, cytoplasm, these things, so you also now have pieces of plastic in these cells. It's so dangerous. So that our mission is to bring to you cutting ed edge research. So today I want to go through a remedy known as the wonder drug for females. Wonder drug, Yannike, uh, what I mean by that is that the best drug for ladies' problems, whether it's endometriosis, whether it's polycystic ovaries, whether it's Bartholin cysts, whether it's other issues, of gynae, it's so, so effective, whether it's prolapse, whether it's, whether it's menopause issues. Menopause issue deserves a, uh, a, a whole, you know, to it's a topic in itself. It deserves a whole program dedicated to it, or maybe two. 
So regarding this illness, this remedy is very, very good. Also good for menstrual irregularities. An amazing remedy. I'm going to go through that today, inshallah, and explain to you how good of a remedy it is for sterility, where ladies can't conceive. In fact, this remedy is one of the four major remedies for uh, sterility. There's three other remedies, natrum carbonicum, natrum muriaticum, and calcarb. And this one that I'm going to mention today, these four are the main remedies for sterility. Inshallah, we're going to go through this and hopefully a lot more. But first of all, you know, I always mention here that, you know, we are at a great risk of dying from heart disease. Many guys here in Bradford, they die of heart attacks. I was in a friend's uh, restaurant up in Batley, Legends, Zahoor Bay, and he just said to me, he was shocked. Remember I mentioned to you a few weeks before that I was doing Jummah in Shafir and when I went in, the person said, Manan Sab, do please do the work for my friend, he's passed away, he was 36 years old, he went to sleep, he didn't wake up. And I mentioned to you that I mentioned to him, that why are you shocked for? Death doesn't send you postcards, you can die like that. Be prepared, may Allah help us to be prepared for death. May Allah keep us safe from doing anything. You know, Allah Ta'ala, inshallah, will forgive our sins. We have to be careful that we don't sin against each other. We don't take our uh, each other's rights. We don't backbite. We don't take money in a haram way. We don't hurt each other's feelings. Because on the day of judgment, if you understand, your own parents will be there to find you, to take some nakeds from you. Your your wife, your children. You know. A day when a person will run from his brothers, his mother and father, his wife, his children, he will flee. On that day, every person will have uh, his own state that will make him completely focused on himself. And that is, how do I save myself from this fire, from this Jahannam, which will be born in front of his eyes? Hadith yeah, tells us, يُؤْتَى يَوْمَذٍ بِجَهَنَّمْ لَهَا سَبْعِينَ أَلْفَ زِمَامٍ مَعَ كُلِ زِمَامٍ سَبْعِينَ أَلْفَ مَلِكٍ يَجِرُّونَهَا The Jahannam will be brought in front of, you know, uh, human beings and all the jinns. It'll have 70,000 huge ropes and each rope will have 70,000 angels and it'll be kind of, you know, it'll be uh, dragged in front of man. It'll be a, a living thing. So on that day, every person will be in a state of finding a way to save himself from this Jahannam. May Allah have mercy on us in this dunya. May Allah have mercy on us at the time of our death. May Allah have mercy on us on the time of resurrection. May Allah have mercy on us at the time of Hisab Kitab. It's a very, very, very long journey that is yet to come. May Allah have mercy on us and Allah is enough for us, inshallah. So my friends, the next life is something we've got to prepare for, no doubt at all. But in the dunya, it's important that we have a good st state of health so we can prepare for the next life you know how many people have cancers and you know other you know, you're having children with leukemias la ilaha illallah you're having so much illnesses nowadays that just 30 years ago these illnesses were hardly in existence and now children are having these illnesses every you know third fourth person is becoming ill so when it comes to heart disease my friends we are right at the top of the you know list People dying of heart disease. In fact, heart disease is the biggest killer in the developed world. Heart disease. And at the top of this kind of pyramid, it's you and I, the Asians. So anything that can help us reduce our chances of dying of a heart attack and stroke, then we should be paying big attention. And it was regarding this I mentioned a few times, and I always mentioned that. Olive oil is so good. Extra virgin, organic extra virgin olive oil from maybe Morocco is the best olive oil you can get and you should be having this with your food with your food you should be having a tablespoon of olive oil you should be drinking it but not just any olive oil that you get from Morrison's or Asda or these places there's a lot of fraud in the olive oil you have to just make sure you do your research and you find the best olive oil that you can get should be ideally pure organic from a single estate not from different countries uh, should be between 0.2 percent or less uh, huh. and you should be having this and giving it to your loved ones why because it keeps your arteries yeah the, your veins your capillaries your whole venous supply it keeps it fluid keeps it flexible it gets rid of the homocysteine and cholesterol so therefore any certain pressure won't cause aneurysms it won't cause them to burst and cause you to have a you know bleed on the brain etc so uh, olive oil and number two 
I also mentioned, well, I want to mention today, another superfood. A superfood which, mashallah, can reduce your heart attacks and risk of strokes by a gigantic or massive 50%. This food, if you incorporate into your diet on a regular, you know, uh, you have it regularly, it can reduce your risk of dying from a heart disease, from dying from, you know, heart related issues, coronary heart disease, uh, strokes or heart attacks by 50%. And this is not me who's saying this. You must have heard the podcast just one more thing or just one thing by Dr. Michael Mosley, the person who is credited with this amazing, you know, 5 2 diet, who said, who explained and extolled the virtues of having, of fasting Monday and Thursday or fasting twice a week. And if you can't fast twice a week, he said, then the next best thing is fasting on three days in a month. And we know that our Prophet Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would fast on a Monday, Thursday. SubhanAllah. We also know that Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would fast on a 13, 14, 15. We know these things. Yet when Mr. Michael Mosley comes and says, look, you should fast and these are the benefits. And I've been through all these benefits on many occasions. Uh, people say, wow, 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 mashallah, we should do the same. But yet, when Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us this 1445 years ago, you know, we put it through one year and out of the other year. And very less people do it. But when Mr. Michael Mosley and Dr. Stephen Gundry and other cardiologists of such caliber say these things, we all jump on the bandwagon. Whereas the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been here for 1445 years. The Sunnah of the Mashaykh of the ulama Kiram or the Muhaddisin fasting regularly Monday, Thursday, you know, so amazing. So this guy, Dr. Michael Mosley mentioned in his Just One More Thing podcast on the 29th of April, 2024, he mentioned these superfoods which can cut your risk of dying of a heart attack or stroke by 50%. My friend, we plan for so many things. We plan for our children's future. We plan for our future. We plan for our trips. We plan for everything. Yet we don't plan for our health. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So same thing with your health. You've got to look after your health. And the best thing you can do is just cut down your, all your foods by so much. It reduce your calories. Alhamdulillah, for a human being, it's sufficient to have a few muscles that will take him a long way. And especially if we cut down all our, what do they call it? Junk food. They call it junk food for a reason. It's like putting junk food into a, uh, you know, amazing refined engine which is our heart and then you know not worrying about the consequences you won't do that with your car then why do we do it with our hearts Barhal so Mr. Dr. Michael Mosley mentioned the superfood which can cut heart attack chances by half and it can reduce blood pressure and cholesterol massively not just that it's so good for the skin and smoothness of the skin what is this amazing food let's go to uh, slide number one and you can see the picture of these seeds and you can see the title flax seeds and linseeds these flax seeds and linseeds same same name for uh, two different names for one, one one thing really in effect these are so good for you in so many different ways it's so so they're so good for your health mashallah they contain three things they contain ala alpha lake acid number one which is omega-3 number two they contain fiber number three they contain antioxidants these i mean the ala by itself is anti-inflammatory and you know inflammation causes you have these markers of infl inflammatory markers you have the uh, esr levels you have c-reactive protein you have interleukin 6 these are all inflammatory markers where you where these are like in the middle double digits you have in, uh, inflammation when they're above the double digits then you've got some serious life-threatening inflammation in your body this ala will dampen that subhanallah this is the reason why it's so good for you. ALA, omega-3 is good for you anyway. Then flax seeds also contain fiber, amazingly good, which bind to cholesterol. Fiber binds to cholesterol. This is why all the health gurus say that you should have in the morning whole grain bread and you should have porridge. Whole grain bread and porridge should be your staple every single day. Whole grain bread and porridge, you should have this every single day. and It will improve your health dramatically. It will improve your health dramatically. Gets rid of the homocysteine levels, binds to cholesterol and gets rid of it from your body. 
uh, keeps you regular when it comes to your kind of uh, your stomach. So mashallah, same thing with ALA. It's so so good if you look at uh, ah and a doctor, Doctor Grant Pierce of University of Manoba, uh, uh, the University of Manitoba in Canada. He says that these uh, flax seeds are so good because they can help you with blockages in the arteries. You go to your GP, he does an angiography, then he says that you've got a you know, blockage in your arteries, he does an angioplasty, all this invasive procedure can be saved if you add these flax seeds or linseeds to your daily cereal or have them as a snack. But you, it's not just a one-two day, day thing, it's a regular thing. The way you should be taking olive oil regularly, drinking it. And you know what, guys, it's not me who's saying this. The whole, every, you know, uh, nutritionist worth his uh, salt is telling the audiences who listen that you should be having olive oil regularly. It's the main thing in the Mediterranean, oil, uh, Mediterranean diet. You know, the, the countries around the Mediterranean basin, you've got Turkey, you've got Greece, these areas, they have very less heart disease. Why? Because they have the Mediterranean diet. But the truth is, the Mediterranean diet isn't very good for you. What is extremely good for you is what the Mediterranean diet is based on, which is olive oil. So olive oil is the main thing. This is why it's so important. You have the pure olive oil. So Dr. Grant Pierce of the University of Manitoba in Canada says that flax seeds or linseeds, even though they don't taste very nice, they are there as a medicine and you need to take medicine today as food before, you know, your kind of uh, food becomes medicine. Today, take this stuff as food before tomorrow your food becomes your medicine. Acha. So what it does, flax seeds, it gets rid of blockages in the arteries. If you have this uh, uh, flax seed, linseed with your foods, it will decrease blockages in your arteries. Number one, number two, irregular heartbeats, what we call arrhythmias. Instead of doing, you know, when your heart beats, dub, 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 instead of dub, dub, it goes dub, 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 or dub, dub, dub. Irregular heartbeats, arrhythmia is never a good sign. These flax seeds, linseeds have shown that they can kind of uh, bring equilibrium to these irregularities and keep your heart beating normally, like a heart tonic, mashallah. Number three, flax seeds and linseeds are very good for high blood pressure. Every household has somebody with high BP, whether it's kidney related, whether it's stress related, whether it's something else related, but they have hypertension. Ramipril, they take like Smarties. I mean, I keep it safe. High BP. Incidentally, just mentioning about high BP, one of the best, uh, you know, remedies, natural remedies for high blood pressure is not Ramipril. It's walking outside for half an hour, four days a week. Subhanallah, walking outside by the rhythm of walking, your brain modulates your entire body's endocrine system. Walking is amazing. So what it does, it, it helps in reducing blood pressure, linseeds and flax seeds. And what else? If someone is unfortunate enough to have a heart attack, then flax seeds and linseeds, taking these regularly, will help you recover from the ill effects of your heart attack. And as I mentioned at the beginning, it reduces your actual risk of having heart attack. But I was saying that in San Kelly, the Jism is the Amanat, Allah has given us this Jism, but the Amanat is the Amara Ruhe is the under, or the Jist that is the Gari, or the Gari 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 is the Gari, or टायर खराब हैं इंजन ऑयल आपने नहीं डाला कोई और इस तरह गाड़ी की मरम्मत की जरूरत है तो आपका जो सफर है तकलीफ दे होगा आपके लिए वो काफी यानी ना गवारा साबित होगा तो यही मिसाल हमारे जिस्म के है ये जिस्म अल्लाह ताला ने हमें दिया है फतबारक अल्लाह अहसन अल खालिकिन अल्लाह ने अजीब अजीब हमें नेमत अदा फरमाई हो में से एक नेमत ये जिस्म भी है तो इसका ख्याल करना लाज़मी है हमने अर्ज किया था शुरू में कि دنیا کے اندر اکثر جن جو جب لوگوں کی موت آتی ہے تو یہ جو ڈیولپ کنٹری ہوتی ہے یہ ہمارا یورپ ہے آسٹریلیا ہے کینیڈا ہے اس طرح کی جو جگہیں ہیں وہاں اکثریت کی جو موت ہوتی ہے وہ ہارٹ ڈیزیز کی وجہ سے کسی کو اسٹروک ہو گیا کسی کو انفارکشن ہو گیا کسی کو کوئی اور یعنی کہ دل کی وجہ سے بیماری ہو گئی کسی کی رگ پھٹ گئی انیورزم ہو گیا تو دل کے ساتھ جو بیماری تعلق رکھتی ہے 
ان کی وجہ سے لوگوں کو اکثر لوگوں کو موت آتی ہے تو آج ہم آپ کے سامنے یہ ایک نیچرل چیز رکھتے ہیں جس کو کہتے ہیں لن سیڈ یا فلک سیڈ سیڈز یہ سیڈز ہوتی ہیں ان کے اندر اے ایل اے پایا جاتا ہے جو امیگا تھری کی ایک قسم ہے اور ان کے اندر فائبر بھی ہے اور ان کے اندر انٹی آکسیڈنٹ ہے مجموعہ ان کا اثر یہ ہوتا ہے کہ یہ دل کے لیے بہت ہی مفید ثابت ہوتے ہیں اتنے مفید ثابت ہوتے ہیں کہ پچاس فیصد یہ جو امکان ہوتا ہے ہارٹ اٹیک کا یا انجوریزم کا یا اسٹروک کا اس یعنی یہ جو فلک سیڈ ہے یا جن کا دوسرا نام لن سیڈ ہیں اگر کوئی آدمی پابندی کے ساتھ کو کھاتا رہے ہر دن تو ان شاء اللہ اس آدمی کا دل اور غیر کھانے والا آدمی کا دل کے اندر پچاس فیصد فرق ہوگا اس آدمی کا دل بہت ٹھیک رہے گا مضبوط رہے گا کلسٹرول بہت کم ہوگی ہومسٹی لیول بہت کم ہوں گے اور دل کی جو یعنی کہ کیا کہتے ہیں اس کو دل کی جو درکنیں وہ ٹھیک ٹھاک رہے گی تو اس کے بارے میں یہ جو مشہور طبیب ہے ڈاکٹر مائیکل موزلی بہت مشہور ہے اور قابل طبیب ہے اس کا ایک پوڈ ہوتا ہے جس وم مو تھنگ تو ٹوینٹی نائنتھ آف اپریل نے اسی سال ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فور میں اس نے یہ ریسرچ نکالی کہ یہ جو فلک سیڈ ہیں ان کے بہت فائدے ہیں اور یہ فائدے جو ہیں ہم آپ کے سامنے جدید بیان کر لیتے ہیں اولاً یہ جو دل کے اندر جو بلاکیج ہوتے ہیں ان کو ہٹاتے ہیں نمبر ٹو دل کی درکن کو ٹھیک رکھتے ہیں ہموار رکھتے ہیں بلڈ پریشر کو کم کرتے ہیں اور کسی کو اگر ہارٹ اٹیک ہو گیا ہو تو اس کو اس کی مرمت میں یہ بہت کام آتی ہے اور سب سے بڑی چیز آدمی کا جو رسک ہوتا ہے ہارٹ اٹیک کا یا جو رسک ہوتا ہے یعنی اسٹروک کا ففٹی پرسینٹ کم ہو جاتا ہے اس دوائی کے ساتھ اس کھانے کے ساتھ ماشاء اللہ تو آپ ضرور اس کو اپنے روز مرہ کی زندگی کے اندر آپ اس کو شامل کیجیے گا ان شاء اللہ جس طرح زیتون کے تیل بھی آپ کے لیے بہت ہی مفید ہے دل کے لیے تو اسی طرح یہ جو فلک سیز ہیں اور لن سیز ہیں دیز آر آلسو ویری ویری افیکٹیو فار یور ہارٹ وی کین گو فار اے بریک ناؤ ان شاء اللہ پلیز اسٹے ود آفٹر دا بریک وی کین ڈسکوس اے ویری ویری گڈ فیمیل ریمیڈی انٹل دین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ